Okay, the roof is off. So um, my husband undid all the four corners and very gingerly and a little frightfully <laughs> got it down and flipped it over. Definitely needs repair. I believe we're gonna replace all four wood panels and whatever, whatever else might need repair. Um, this, this part is in pretty good shape, so I'm sure we're going to leave that, but all the wood here needs to be replaced. And this is the back end, the queen bed end, and this <laughs> definitely needs to be replaced. That is bad. That's where all the water leaking happened. And look at these lovely screws. Little rust buckets. Oh, good lord. What's in there? I don't know. Nice. I'm afraid to know. <laughs> Anyways. Alright, there is the beginnings of roof repair. Alright, we are on day two of our roof repair and we've cut out all of our new plywood panels for the exterior of the roof, the exterior perimeter of the roof. Um, we used the old pieces as a template and the long lengths are in two pieces. It's, it's kind of hard to see here. This one and that one. And that's the way it was. And then this is the end. Um, I am in our tough shed painting because <laughs> it's too windy outside. Um, so what I did was I um, used a coat of Kills primer. Both, I primered everything edges, front and back. And then on the parts that are going to be on the inside of the camper, I'm painting those a semi-gloss white. I need two coats of that. Um, I've only got one on this one right now. And then for all of the edges, everything within a couple of inches around the sides, anything that is prone to wetness, we bought this. Flex Seal Liquid. It's a liquid rubber sealant coating. So we are brushing that on, like, like I said, edges, anything here that touches where the butyl tape will go, um, all that. So after this paint gets dry, I'll put that on, and that is a 24-hour dry period on that stuff, and it's smelly. So make sure you are outdoors if you decide to use it. This is pretty much outdoors. <laughs> um, we just put, let me go out there and show you. We just put the aluminum skin back on one of the pieces that I, I had already finished. And we used 3M spray adhesive to, to adhere it to the wood. We've got rocks in place. Um, and that's what we used. We've got rocks in place to hold it down while it dries. Um, we also, at the joints, they just had them sitting there. There was nothing to tie them together. So we bought little Simpson ties and screwed the pieces together just for more strength. Um, so once the other end, once this is in place, then we'll put the end on. Um, but that's where we're at so far. And let me show you what... It looks like when it's all torn apart. <laughs> so here is um, the ends. And the underneath wood was in pretty good shape. It was just everything around the exterior, all the upright pieces that were really bad. Um, even in where the vent is, that wood doesn't look like anything leaked there. We are getting a turnabond tape for the outside of the roof for that center seam. We're going to put that down. Um, and then everything else should be good after that. It should be watertight. We're going to use butyl tape along these seams once we get the new wood in place. And then a turnabond down the center. So that is our update for now.
And the way to help get the old butyl tape off is to heat it with a heat gun. And then one person can scrape while the other one preheats. All right, we are ready to get started painting this thing. I decided to spray the bare metal that was around the new vent to keep the screws from rusting and I didn't want to use roll-on paint because it's too thick and then you can't get your uh, drill bit into the screw heads. So we're gonna get going. And the roof is back on the camper. I am so happy this is finally done. It took a lot longer than we thought it was going to. Um, we rebuilt all four wood panels, uh, brand new, brand new plywood, um, primer, paint, sealed, all new hardware inside, all the screws were all rusted through. Um, and we put a turnabon tape down the center seam on the top. So it's underneath there. And then we put all new butyl tape in. One tip I would like to say is <laughs> we found butyl tape works better if it's slightly cold. Uh, so we refrigerated it for about 10 minutes and brought it out in an ice chest, a small ice chest. Um, cause when it gets hot and it was hot, it gets real sticky. So we found if we kept it cool, we were able to slide it on or peel it off much easier. Um, and I've got it painted black, um, cause I do want it to match my Jeep. As I've said, you have a new vent. The inside is all clean and white. Um, and we've got all new caulking, butyl tape. So I'm real happy with how it turned out. We're gonna get, uh, we ordered new latches. And so we're gonna replace these with black ones. We've got new, well, I think we've got most of them already. We've got all new um, of these kind of pieces. I still have to get these decals off. And we still have some things to do on the inside again. <laughs> Unfortunately, it got so dirty over the last five days since the roof and canvas have been off. So it's very dirty inside and I'm very sad about that. So I need to clean it. Um, but not until we get our canvas back, which should be pretty soon. And that's it. We are very happy the roof is done and it's on. And, and that's one more piece of this Jayco puzzle.